Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I'm making a really pretty planter. I used two of these house-shaped chalkboard signs from Dollar Tree, as well as one of their little crates, a napkin from Hobby Lobby, some boxwood from Walmart, white chalk paint and Mod Podge, the wood glue I didn't end up using, and hot glue. I started by painting the two chalkboard signs and the outer edges took about two coats. The inside to cover the chalkboard took three coats. So I covered both of those completely and then painted the little crate and I just did the front, the bottom, and the sides. After everything was dry, I took my napkin and just held it on the front side of the crate and cut out a little bit bigger than the front of the crate on the napkin and then remove the second ply from it and attached it with a thin layer of Mod Podge. I placed down the napkin and just smoothed it out very gently with my fingers at first. And then once I had it all on there, I took some parchment paper and my iron and just smoothed it out. And this smooths out any wrinkles or bubbles and dries the Mod Podge. And then once that side was done, I did the same thing to the opposite side of the crate. I had also put an outer layer of Mod Podge on both sides of the napkin as well and let those dry. I just didn't get it on video. And then once that was dry, I just took a sanding block and removed all the excess napkin from the whole crate. After everything was done and dry, I took my little house and the crate. I put hot glue on one end of the crate and stuck it inside the little house part. So I stuck it on the part of the house that would have had the chalkboard on it, so it's a little bit more indented. And then did the same thing on the other side. And that's what it looks like completed. And then next I put floral foam, hot glued it inside the crate, and then filled it with the boxwood picks from Walmart. Now I didn't bother painting the inside of the crate because you won't see it, but you can totally do that if you'd like. And then decorate it however you wish. I just stuck with some simple boxwood and it turned out so adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.